Hello everyone, Ian here at Abel City in Burbank and today I am surrounded by hive lights. In the back here I have the 100C Wasp. In the front, the light we're going to really concentrate on today is the 200C Hornet. Now what's the difference between these two? Well obviously the 200 is bigger but it gives us two and a half times as much output as the 100C. It draws 150 watts of power and in exchange it outputs the equivalent of 650 to 1K incandescent light. It has a baby pin and it has a harness that holds it with this little strapping system. However, there is a quarter 20 on the back and we can rig it any way we want with a magic arm. Anything that will accept a quarter 20, we now have uh, a means to rig this light. And at two and a half pounds, it really lends itself to being able to be rigged pretty much anywhere we want. I'm going to give you a, a tour of the back of this and then we're going to go outside and shoot some footage. And as far as the front of this goes, I'm going to be using uh, barn doors. This is pretty much the standard issue, how the light comes. However, there is a whole slew of different attachments for the front and speed ring. We can put a softbox on here. We can put a Fresnel lens, a whole variety of different uh, applications that make this a great light for all types of lighting scenarios. I've got power supplied to the 200C, so I'm going to power up. And you can see that the indicator is now on dimming. So if I go to the adjustment pot, now I can change that luminance by increments of a value of one. If I want to though, I can click in one time on the adjustment knob and now I can go by powers of 10. You're gonna see that this is a common uh, scenario on the adjustments on the menu here. If I go over to my color temperature, for example, if I go in right now, I'm gonna change by increments of 200 degrees Kelvin. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna press the adjust button and now you can see that I'm going by increments of 25 degrees Kelvin. So it allows you these different uh, levels of navigation uh, to quickly get to the value that you want. Same thing is true if I go up to my hue. I'm gonna go up and change the hue, push it again and now I can go into bigger values. Here's my saturation. And again, I go single digit, push again. Now I can go into tens. And as you can see, I go down and uh, select the dimming here. And you can see that we have infinite adjustment of our output. So I've changed composition here slightly of the menus, and that's because I want to show you uh, the newest addition to the 200C. Uh, out of the box, it now has effects inside of it. And to get to those, uh, you are going to go to the selector knob and double click and click again and now you can see that we have these different effects to uh, change it or to see what else we have in here i'm simply going to click on the or rotate the selector knob i should say and when i do that you can see that some of these have a dimming and a speed some just have a speed but here you can see i'm just going to roll through these real quick so you can see uh, what effects are available and back to TV. And to get out of this menu, I'm simply gonna go back to the selector and do two rapid clicks. And now you get it back into your default menus. You can access the effects as well using the phone app. However, you must pay for an upgrade in order to access them. For my first lighting setup, I wanted to take the lamp outside and I wanted to match the sunlight coming in through a window. So I placed it outside one of the windows here at Able City, and then I used my color temp meter to check out what sunlight was doing. And then once inside the building, I was able to use my phone app to change the color temp and dim it to the appropriate luminance level to get the exposure I wanted.
second setup, I want to try indirect lighting. So I brought the 200C inside, shot it off a bounce card, and using my color temp meter and my light meter, I was able to set up the shot just that I wanted. And I was able to do it without ever leaving my camera because with my phone, I was controlling the lamp. So imagine if you're a one-man band, and you're trying to do all this stuff by yourself, having the ability to make all those adjustments with your phone to the hive light is incredibly easy and it saves a tremendous amount of time. That wraps up my look at the 200C Hornet from Hive Lighting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.